everybody. I've been working on my Thalcosaurus, and uh, also I've been working quite a bit on my pet battling meta, um, and they are both kind of awful, but today seemed like a really good day to do the Thalcosaur quest because there were no pet world battlers up that helped toward my meta. So I decided to work on my Dire Beat Catchlings quest. Um, this is where he needs to beat three of the world pet battles with two humanoids up. Um, and I looked around online, I really couldn't find any good guides to help me through that, so I decided not to be lazy and, and actually do this myself, and, and uh, hopefully I can help you guys out a little bit today. So here's um, a guide. So the pet battler that was up today that um, I decided to work on a guide for was Anders and Ryder. So this is a guide for your Dire Beak Hatchling with... Um, with two humanoid pets to defeat Anders and Ryder toward one of your late quests in the Falcosaur line. Okay, so I started fighting Ryder first. He is a little harder, to be honest. Um, the pets that I used were the Anubisath Idol, the Direbeak Hatchling, and the Rotten Little Helper. So the skills that I were using were um, on the Anubisath was Demolish, Stone Skin, Deflection, for the Dire Beak, I used Falcosaur Swarm, Iron Skin, and Warning Squawk. And for the Rotten Helper, I used Ice Lance, Frost Tomb, and the Grinch's Gift. So I started out with Demolish, and um, I just, you, this only hits 50% of the time. So I kind of just wanted to knock him down to a point where he would start using his Wish ability. So just kind of be patient with it. There might be a little bit of RNG here. I didn't bother to shield up or anything because I knew I'd get enough hits in. And uh, that should take him low enough. Uh, when he puts up that blue, he's going to use his Wish. I got lucky. I got a few extra hits in here, but it kind of doesn't matter. So just kind of keep using Demolish. And, I mean, if you're really lucky, you could probably kill him. But um, that's not probably going to happen. So... Um, after he wishes, I switch in my Falcosaur Hatchling here, and the first thing I do is I use that Squawk ability to give me some extra quit, crit, and then I just used uh, Falcosaur Swarm, and it's going to take him down pretty low. So I'm just going to keep using the Falcosaur Swarm, um, and uh, probably until he kills me. Oh, and it doesn't matter if your Falcosaur actually dies on this, so don't worry about it if it does, you still get credit for the quest. So I've got him pretty low. This next hit, he should probably kill me here. We'll see what happens. So after he kills you, um, he should still be kind of low. And at this point, you're going to bring in your, your, um, your rotten little helper. And I started out with an ice tomb. And then the very next thing I did was I used that Grinch's Gift, which hits for a lot. And then I just kind of filled in with Ice Lance. And then the um, the Tomb should go off, like, right before he gets his heal in. So that's just one way to beat him, and it wasn't too bad. So um, I did a little switch around, I think, with skills on this. But next up, we're going to take on Ryder. And all I did was I moved my Rotten Little Helper to the first slot. Um, I changed the skills to Club, Ice Tomb. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you could use Ice Tomb. It doesn't really matter if you use Booby Trap Gift because he doesn't swap anything out. So it doesn't matter. But I kept Grinch's Gift. Then I kept the skills the same on my Falcosaur and also the same on my Anubisath Idol. And this is a much easier fight um, Ryder is than Anders, I think. So, um, I don't know why I did this, because it doesn't really matter. Don't use that booby trap gift. You could probably start out with a club, or you start out with your Grinch's gift. Um, see, there's even room for error in this strategy, because <laughs> I made one. Then just kind of fill in with club and just get him a little bit lower. Just chip away at him a little, but let him kill your guy. And then you can bring your um, Thalcosaur in next. And the Thalcosaur should finish him up. So, I used... Um, Warning Squawk here. Ah, oh, that was stupid too. See, there's totally room for error because you didn't need, I mean, you could have used, you should have used the Shield first and then Warning Squawk and then Falcosaur Swarm. But, I mean, this is so easy that it doesn't even matter if you mess up because I obviously messed up, so. 
But just um, after you get your um, your little shield up, and then you should use your iron skin first, actually. Use your squawk second. Then you're just going to swarm him until he dies. If he kills your guy, it's fine because you have, like, a whole other pet left um, with your Nubiseth idol. So, I mean, there's a lot of room in that strategy. So let me know in the comment section if you would like to see additional guides for specific world battle quests with the Falcosaur and other humanoids. And I'll work on putting them together. If you're having any trouble with like a specific tamer that's up for the day, just let me know. I'd, I'd love to try to put one together for you. So post that in the comments. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and like and subscribe if this video was helpful to you.